Hey guys, welcome back to the Struggleville YouTube channel. For this video, we have some more amazing Harbor Freight coupons for you. Now, to be honest, not all Harbor Freight coupons are amazing, but these Harbor Freight coupons are amazing. I was going to make the title, Best Harbor Freight Coupons Ever, but people get mad. Oh, it's clickbait. Well, I think they actually are, but, well, at least, Best Harbor Freight Coupons of the Year. I think that that's fair. Definitely better than the Black Friday ad. Why this wasn't somehow incorporated, I have no idea. So, SEMA show coupons. By the way, big shout out and a thank you to Antonio. I'm kind of like, Mario. Mario. Like Mario and Luigi. Antonio. For giving us a heads up on these amazing coupons. Okay. So, it's a huge list. There's so many coupons here. I created a post on my website, Struggleville.net. It's also on the Struggleville Deals app for Android users. If you want to check them out, they are shown on the new coupon page on the app. Otherwise, there's an individual post on the website. I'll link down below. It was over 100 coupons that were either uh, no other coupon currently available or they were the best price. So I didn't break down every single one because I was like two hours into this thing and I was breaking it down. I was just like, this is taking too long. I can't do this. So uh, there's, there's no price comparison like we would normally do. First one we have is the 20% off all, all Icon tools. These go through the 24th, by the way. Now, Monica, you know you know what this, this coupon is, right? The 20% off all Icon. It is a favorite of the Harbor Freight. Ass Licking Society. Butt licking? Ass licking. Butt licking. It goes a little farther than ass kissing. No adoption. They're just candy, candy, their ice cream cone in it. <laughs> no, seriously, come on, you guys know who I'm talking about. It's 500 icon videos a month. Trying to get that extra ad revenue from them views. Just throw Icon in there. We'll remake the same video ten times. We'll just, as long as we use the word Icon in the, uh, all that. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to make a title that just says Icon like 50 times in a row. Icon, Icon, Icon. That'll get picked up in search results. People will be all over it. So it's like, oh my god, it says Icon! I must click now. Five drawer mechanic carts. We have a coupon through the end of the year that's $169.99. But it only includes the black, the blue, and the red. The other colors technically are not involved. They won't work for the coupon. However, if you were in store, you could ask a manager and be like, hey, this is really the same item. It's just different colors. And 50-50 shot, they may do it for you. Why are you looking at me like that? What did I do? We also have a coupon, excuse me, for $189.99 that includes all of the different carts. And then we're going to skip over to this glove dispenser. So I've bought pretty much all, except for the newest stuff they got, magnetic toolbox stuff. The dispenser is okay, but it's not, not amazing. It's got these little prongs that you can jam in on either side and the back to give it like a tight fit so the gloves just aren't flopping around in there. But this opening is almost the same damn size as the box. Like mine wants to keep sneaking out. It's just kind of a pain in the ass. Like, these are Harbor Freight gloves, and this is probably the most likely thing you're putting in there. So, uh, I don't know. How about making it fit a little bit better? Oh, wait. They didn't design the product. They're just rebranding it from some other Chinese thing. So, yeah. That's why. That's why. We got the screwdriver holder, which I really like this little tray. That's a handy thing to have. Least favorite would definitely be the spray can holder, because it only holds two cans. I mean, unless you have some can that you just grab all the time, maybe you're a PB Blaster guy who's just PB Blasting everything. So you need that can right there. Otherwise, like I have 50 different spray cans on shelving units in the garage. Am I supposed to just pick out two and stick in there? I don't know. Anyway, that's my least favorite. The paper towel holder is okay, too. At least it stays stuck. I want to say we saw a cheaper one at Menards, though. Did we? Maybe not. I don't know. I'd leave one alone. Magnetic twist lock socket rails. It's kind of a cool idea. And then this socket L tray. Neat idea, I guess. Fourteen ninety nine seems way too expensive for it. But the, it, it, it's one row of sockets. I'm not sure what I would put on it or why. Why would this one row? Do you put in your 
your half inch drive six points there do you put in your impacts i mean there's so many different what what's what one set of sockets do i want on the side of my toolbox it's kind of goofy i don't think you're going to put 30 of these down the side of it i think how expensive that would be i don't know then we got these socket trays over here for 19.99 kind of cool it's got the handle you can take it out like a little platter to your your workspace so this email is so incredibly long the nice thing was a lot of times they'll have emails where they focus on one type of product so you'll it'll be a email on welding and welding accessories and you'll see coupons for all the different welding stuff well this email is kind of like that except for it went across the gamut of all different types of products so no matter what you're looking for you could definitely find something i think it was 111 coupons that were in the post that's on the website so it was a ton a lot of stuff we don't see too often so it's definitely an opportunity for people to pick things up that you might not normally get on sale you see there's a 20 percent off any vulcan accessories coupon if you're on the app, if you go to the specialty coupons page or on the website, you go to the 20% off coupons page, scroll down a little bit. We do have another Vulcan accessory coupon. It's 20% off and it does not have any expiration date. So some of this Vulcan stuff isn't 20% off with the coupon. Definitely worth adding to your card on the website and seeing are you better off with the item coupon or are you better off with the 20% off any Vulcan accessory coupon. Got a bunch of the Daytona Jacks on sale. Interesting thing here, we have the Professional 3-Ton Super Duty. It's a Super Duty. It's like a diesel truck. It's a Super Duty for $189.99. Or you get the 3-Ton that doesn't have the word Super Duty on it, and it's $100 less. So you can pay $100 more for it to say Super Duty. And then I think the only other difference I saw, 18 and a quarter inch lift or height, you know, the top height. 23 and an eighth there so if you don't need the extra the extra length there no reason to pay for that what was that monica everyone needs a little extra length what are you trying to say mm -hmm. we got the self-loading vehicle dollies at a hundred dollars a piece i think if you had to buy all four of those you'd be four hundred dollars deep in vehicle dollies expensive Jack stands are kind of nice. We see the three-ton ones a lot for anywhere from $16.99. I guess $18.99 is okay, but I'm fairly certain we've seen $16.99 or at least $17.99 on them. But we don't see the six tons or the 12 tons very often, so it's definitely time to, to spring for it. Although that looks just about 20% off, so uh, maybe not that great of a deal. All our Zurich OBD2 scanners, we can get better prices on Amazon. We have the promo codes. Again, deals posted on the website, struggleville.net. Got deals every single day. See a lot of OBD2 scanners and uh, better pricing than that. Speaking of better pricing, all these RoadShock LED off-road lights, way overpriced. Please don't buy any of them from Harbor Freight. They're way, 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 way too expensive. You can get just as good lights on Amazon for a fraction of the cost. I mean, we've seen two packs of these LED floodlights for nine dollars and change. Here you're getting one for twenty bucks. I mean, it's not even close. It's weird that LED lighting products, the prices have just dropped out of the bottom. And this is actually a new product line from Harbor Freight. They just recently came out with this road shock, these lights, and they're way overpriced. I mean, it's not even close. So definitely you don't want to be assuming that Harbor Freight's your cheapest option because there are definitely uh, better better options out there for you. Both quality and price. But they don't want to be known as the cheap tool store anymore. They're professional quality now, did you hear? They're professional quality. And with professional quality comes higher prices. Even if the quality isn't professional, as long as we make the claim that it's professional, we can command those higher prices. As long as we get enough YouTube shills to tell everyone that they're amazing. I'm very professional. I need to jack up the prices. If you said it, it must be true. Ball joint service kit. The Maddox. It's $59.99. It was actually nice to see all these different Maddox coupons because 
uh, you know, it's it, specialty tools. You don't see as many promo codes, especially on Amazon. However, of late, the last couple of months, we have seen more by Orion Motor Tech on Amazon. So one example of that is, I should probably look it up. Should I take the time to look it up? I will. Hold on. So here's my example. I paid $33 for this item on the right, which is the Orion Motor Tech set. And here you can see, even with a coupon, you're paying $59.99 at Harbor Freight. So even if you don't have a promo code, the Orion Motor Tech one is cheaper. But tell me that does not look like the exact same thing. It's the exact same thing. So, just trying to do you a solid, let you know. Shop around. Another perfect example. Don't be laughing at me, sucker. Right now on the Struggleville.net website, the deal of the day, which I might change by the time most people watch this, but the deal of the day is a pair of spring compressors that's like $15 and change. Again, it looks identical. Let's pull it up. So this is the set on the right that's on the right sidebar of the website if you were to go to the homepage right now. Again, I don't know how long I'll actually keep that up. But tell me that doesn't look like the identical thing to Harbor Freight. Other than the color of the case being different, that looks identical. Same thing. So Amazon currently has it for $15.65. And free shipping, and even with the coupon at Harbor Freight, you're paying twenty one ninety nine. That's all the examples I'm going to give. I think I have proved my point. My point. On to the bronze stuff. I really like this rechargeable underhood work light been working on the trunk of the Caprice, which is huge. It's a huge trunk. It's got a lot of junk in the trunk, or a lot of space for junk in the trunk. It could also fit a lot of dead bodies. Epstein didn't kill himself. You didn't hear that from me. I got demonetized just by saying it. Clinton's going to come after me now. I'm a soft target. Who would even realize I was gone? No one would even know. I'd be gone. Like, oh, he killed himself, he got in a car accident, something like that. I'd be just as shocked as everyone else. I killed myself, are you kidding me? I'm telling you, Slick Willie will come get you. <laughs> we also got the hanging shop light, which at $19.99, it's not an awful deal. If you only need one, it, that's good, it's fine, it's a perfectly good option. But you can't link them together with other lights. If you were trying to put two together or four together... I don't know why they didn't make them linkable, let them daisy chain together. The lights I bought from Menards have the switch on one end with the plug, and then you got a plug on this end, and you just you just put as many in series as you want. Just keep going. Just keep going. Keep it rolling. This one, they didn't make it that way, so that's unfortunate. But if you only need one, hey, knock yourself out. We also have the Braun Slim Bar Light at $24.99. Meh, sometimes we get it for $19.99. But they did come out, which I don't think there's a coupon here, but they did come out with another version of this brawn, which is essentially the same bottom half, and it has interchangeable top halves. I think it's the Slim Bar, um, a flashlight, maybe a Flex head. I don't remember. It's really expensive, though, so no thanks, unless it gets cheaper. Now, this thing just looks like a pile of crap. I'm sorry, it looks like a puck light on a gooseneck. That should be sold at the dollar store. Uh, dollar store. Some lights I actually like. This one I'd like to give a try to. For $13.99, rechargeable, 2-in-1 extendable flashlight. That looks like it's worth $13.99. Or it could be worth $13.99. This rechargeable work light, meh, it should be $29.99. Again, they're not great with their LED prices. $24.99 for a plug-in work light. That's not bad. At least it's LED. I didn't see any halogen shit here, which made me happy. We hate halogen. It's hot! Of course, right now it's, you know, snowing outside, so halogen might be a good thing. 
but generally speaking, not so much. A bunch of new quantum lights. You see, we got the new, well, not new, but pocket flashlight they have out now. And this is actually a pocket light. So you have this light over here. Says it's a pocket light. Doesn't fit in anyone's pocket. But this one actually is a pocket flashlight. So the McGraws. Some paint guns. Some air tools. It would be interesting, either directly at Harbor Freight or just generally speaking, to compare like air tool sales from 10 years ago, 15, 20 years ago to today. Because so many cordless tools are at least capable of taking the place of an air tool. And yeah, you have to recharge the batteries, but we make some big ass batteries these days that last a long time. And that air hose is an inconvenient son of a bitch, let me tell you. It's a pain in the ass. It is. Got some nice Hercules stuff here. 39, 69. Got angle grinders. Got a drill. 44.99. My Hercules drill has been fine. I don't have any complaints about it. I got it half off at a parking lot sale. I don't know if I'd pay full price for it. Got some of the 12 volt stuff. How cool would it be if the Bauer and the Hercules batteries were interchangeable? Why not make one set? Oh, I know why, but it would be nice from a consumer standpoint if you had Bauer and Hercules using the same damn batteries. It would be fantastic. I know, you sell less batteries that way. Too bad for us, huh? got the tool bags I feel like I have a million tool bags from all the different combo kits that I bought either DeWalt or Milwaukee or whatever and a couple of years ago Sears gave away free craftsman tool bags as part of a Black Friday ad it was one of those where you just had to show up in the store so that was like a revol revolving door I walk inside grab the free bag walk outside hand it to Monica go inside grab the free bag go outside hand it to Monica go inside grab the free bag come outside it's like you're out of bags what the hell why don't you guys stock more bags I only got 20 of them damn it I don't make people complain too you need a tool immerse a immerse I need a immerse for my tools anyway I just I'm kind of surprised that these bags are popular, that people buy them. I guess, I mean, they're handy, I guess, but they're everywhere. You think the secondary market, they'd be really cheap just to pick some, pick some up. End in the video with the Apache cases. I'm kind of surprised they actually call this one the rifle case. If you remember, they had a gun safe earlier. I got recalled because it would open accidentally. Generally speaking, anytime a safe opens when it's not supposed to, it's a bad thing. But especially when the safe is holding guns, you probably don't want it just randomly opening. But I think the only reason it got recalled, because of a, a shitty product that just happens to be a safe, doesn't necessarily get recalled. But when you advertise it as holding guns... And then it just opens up. Well, now we got a problem. That becomes a safety issue. So I'm kind of surprised they call this one a rifle case because you know, we could have similar problems that we've that we've had in the past. All right, guys, that's it. Thanks for watching. Give the video a like. Subscribe for another subscriber. Check out the website struggleville.net. All the daily tool deals and over a hundred coupons from this email. Very good.